All right, we move on to the second video. This is going to be about the syllabus. So let's go to and log in into My West Hills. Then move on to the Access My Courses page right over here. All right, with that, logging in. And this one has a dashboard of all my courses and committees I'm a part of here. The course that we want to get to is Math 64C03, our course right here. All right, and uh, concentration is the syllabus this time. We've covered other things now, but the syllabus is where we want to get to here. And I, I did have to correct a few things here, the title of the class. I totally forgot to put uh, the combined title here, and I had to get rid of a, a few things. There's some wrong dates on there that I had to make sure that was corrected here, so quick typos. So here's the revamped syllabus slightly changed. So let's go for it. This is Math 64. It is a combination course of elementary and intermediate algebra. So we're going to combine both courses of algebra. Algebra 1 and Algebra 2 sort of combined together. And so this one's going to go a little bit faster than what you would probably see in a normal algebra course. Not that much faster, but just a little bit. All right. The textbook for the class, it's given right here. Um, so always question, do we need a uh, a textbook for the class. Yes, you definitely need a textbook for the class, but uh, when you sign up for the xyzhomework.com site, um, there is a ebook already there. So that's in the, in the other video. That's the XYZ video that you guys will see. And so go there, you'll have a little more detail of that. All right, my name is Arkady Hanjiev. Um, I go by Mr. Hanjiev, Mr. H, sometimes in the in the face-to-face -face classes. And we are going to have some office hours for the class. I'm still setting those up. As soon as I find the, or as soon as I finalize the t times and sessions, I will email those out to you. My office number is given, in case you need to reach me there. Uh, and then my uh, cell phone is given for emergencies. If emergencies are in my mind is. Um, you being very very late for the midterm exam that constitutes an emergency uh, something that you need to get a hold of me right away and my own suggestion is please text me that's probably a better a way to get hold of me if you are gonna call me and you wanna speak to me uh, please leave a message because I most likely will not pick up because I usually don't pick up numbers I don't recognize All right. the other way to contact me is through email and in fact you should do this you should have done this the first day of class already so email me uh, to being part of the class itself here. So prereqs. So where should have you passed in order to get to this class? So you probably should have gone through a pre-algebra class and here in West Coast College it's Math 100 or the old class was Math 101 or an equivalent class you got into here. And such, like we said before, like this is a two algebra classes uh, scrunched into one semester and really if you have some math exposure already through high school or something, um, that is your best bet in this class because this course goes, like I said, a little faster and you probably want to have at least some knowledge of it or else you're going to spend a lot more time on the videos or the book itself. But um, go for it if you need to here. Course objectives, not going to cover those now, but these 11 items should be the things that we're going to go through and should know by the end of this semester. Student learning outcomes, those are. Um, in a sense, math faculty get together. We take a look at the essential, essential basic skills you need to know in order to do good in the next level. And so the first thing is, can you graph? That's an essential skill of mathematics. The other one, especially in algebra, is can you factor? You should be very comfortable with factoring by the time we end. And then can you solve equations? Particularly, can you solve a rational equation? And can you solve a radical equation? If you got those things down, you at least got the essential essentials off the class. Institutional student learning outcomes, those are uh, for college-wide. Those are really college-wide. Any class that you've ever taken at West Coast College should fall under these seven categories. Our class in particular falls under category number three, mathematical reasoning. All right, the attendance policy. Here we go. To initially, to stay in the class, you need to email me the first day of class. And then, sign up for the xyzhomework.com site by Wednesday of the first full week of class. So that is priority there. I will give you, in, in the next video, I'm going to give you all the access code and everything else you need in order to sign up. All right, and then also as you're going through the class, 
Uh, there's no chapter exams for this. Uh, but if you skip the midterm, here's what I want to concentrate on. If you skip the midterm, it is grounds to drop you. So if you want to drop yourself from the class, please do so. Your academic record is your responsibility. Make sure that you drop if you want to drop. We're going to go into more detail in regards to the lectures, but just as a preview here, if you go to the YouTube channel, I've set up all the videos uh, for this class. Uh, if you go to YouTube, just click for ma uh, search for Math 4B. You'll see a gray circle with an M inside it. Click on that. That's the channel. And then under Playlists, you want to look for M64 Lectures, and that will give you a playlist of all the lectures that you ever need for this class. The homework that you'll be doing is on xyzhomework.com. And in the next video, you should see what you need in order to sign up for it. There's a 15-day free trial uh, for it, just to just to see if the, you're going to enjoy this class or not. Is it up to your uh, rigor? And if you want to stay, then there's a $45 fee for a subscription. Now, m most of you, maybe some of you, already have an XYZ homework account. That's that's great because uh, you can just plug it in and, and keep on going. All right, the midterm. The midterm is set for the week of um, March 18th. Now, the specific date and time and location of the classroom is not yet set. As soon as I find out more information, I will email you. Same thing for the final. It's set for finals week, but I just need to get more information on where and exactly what time that will be held. All right, proctoring. This is important here. If you live more than 70 miles away from the Kalinga campus, and I know a couple of you guys actually live out of state, so if you live out of state and there's no way you're going to be coming to Kalinga to take the midterm and final, it is your responsibility to find a proctoring location. Now the best location is another community college in your area. Go there, see if they have a, a library or a tutoring center or, a, or an assessment center, and usually community colleges will proctor other community colleges exams. They're usually like a proctoring exam um, or assessment center that does that. All right, if not, go to a local university, and then if that if all else fails, maybe go to a local library, because some libraries have been set up and do proctoring of exams. There's your bet. All right, if you live, though, close to the Kalinga campus, oh, sorry, the Lemoore campus, Hanford or Lemoore, or you live next to the Fireball campus, maybe Mendota, and the North District Center, uh, you can have your test proctor there as well, but you have to set it up early. Uh, you have to go there, and uh, there's a process to set things up. So call the GED lab, room 273 for the Lamore campus. Call the front desk for the Fireball campus, and they're going to direct you how to set this up. There's a little bit of a process. You have to go. You have to put your name on a docket. You have to meet with the... Uh, with a tutoring specialist there, they take your name down, they have to forward me the information, I have to fill out a proctoring form, get sent back to them, then they contact you for a date and time. So yes, there's a process to all this. Um, so I prefer you guys arrange this in the first two or three weeks of class, send me the information, and then you guys are all set for the proctoring and you're all set for the semester. Our right, question comes up in the online classes is, how, when do I contact you for what? So general question about the course email me that's probably the best way to handle that if you need help on the homework and you want to talk to me and there's an interaction that you want that's going to be set up during the office hours please attend those and uh, we'll go through the questions that you're stuck on if you're stuck on a particular homework question you really don't need me to sort of help you through it you can uh, post it the question to the forum there's a little forum link underneath there and I usually check them daily to see how things are going and, uh, but you are also welcome to help out other students. Please do so. I look at that. I look at to see how other students are doing in the class there. Online office hours, as talked about earlier, I'll send out a link and by about the second week of class, and we'll figure out a way that we can interact in learning the math content if you're stuck. The drop date for the class is April 21st. If you no longer wish to attend, please drop yourself. All right. And this class, it's very basic as far as the grading is concerned. Um, 100 points for the homework, 100 points for the midterm, 100 points for the final. That is it. 300 points possible. I know that's a very low scale. And um, we have ourselves the 90, 80, 70, 60 uh, grade scale. The one little caveat is this one right here. 
you make sure that your average between your midterm and your final has to be at least a 70%. Um, that is really to prevent cheating in the class. Uh, if you're getting 100% on your online homework, then you come in and you only get 10% on the midterm, that's a little suspicious. If you've been doing your homework, you should be able to be getting a pretty good grade on the midterm and the final. So there's a little caveat for that. All right, and the conduct just means that you are cheating or you are doing things that are disturbing to others in this classroom, even though it's a virtual classroom. I may drop you from the class. I can remove you from the class. I can give you an F for the class. And the support services here. There's a lot of variety of support services here. There's a career center that we have that we operate. There's a EOPS. There's student success services here, even veteran services. So if you think you qualify for any of those, please look at the catalog and for further information and the office that you contact. The one I want to highlight for sure is DSPS services. This is if you have a learning disability, uh, please contact the number down here. They will test you, verify that is so, and then uh, you'll have some accommodations for the class. It's really, in a sense, not fair if you have a learning disability. Another person next to you doesn't, and then you're trying to keep up with that. Um, sometimes it's a note taking the class, sometimes it's uh, just extra little time on the exams. All right, please do that in the first two weeks if you need an accommodation in the first two weeks of class. All right, and then this one, just a final disclosure, I can, in extreme cases, I can change up the syllabus, and that hardly ever happens the way it's set, usually the way it goes, but uh, just in case we have a power outage for like a whole week, there's at least some way where we can sort of uh, salvage the course somehow. But almost always here we the way it's set up the way it's gonna go especially in online class so reiterated midterm is the week of the 18th and then the final is the week of the 20th and I'll give you more dates as we go alright this is just a basic calendar of how it's gonna progress right over here um, the more detailed calendars on the XYZHomework.com site alright and I wish you well in the class